Okay, welcome everybody. My name is Chris Alamany, and this is the albertaweather.ca podcast for February 28th, 2024. Um, we've had some pretty crazy weather in the past few days, and uh, let's look at it. We'll look at the uh, forecast coming up for the end of the week and into the weekend and uh, and look at what we've had so far. Okay, so let's uh, let's look at the current temperatures is uh, 1.1 degree at Alberti weather. Um, we have some light wind uh, west northwest. So the southerlies haven't come into the Alberni Valley yet, uh, but I expect them to uh, to get there soon. Okay, so uh, we have some rainfall, uh, 31 millimeters uh, in the past uh, since midnight. And uh, in the last, uh, yeah, a little bit uh, more than that, in the last 24 hours or so, the storm rain is at 33 millimeters. Um, that's going to capture when the snow started to melt earlier uh, last night. So uh, before midnight last night. So uh, so we have lots of information going on there. Um, there's our, uh, so it's 1.1 and uh, 31 millimeters and uh, the wind is out of the north northwest. Okay, so looking towards the almanac just to get a better idea of what's happened over the past 24 hours or so. Um, there's our outside temperature. Uh, you can see that we started this time la yesterday, um, you know, down below zero, minus uh, three or four, uh, looks like minus four um, yesterday at seven o'clock, and we got up to three degrees yesterday, uh, and then went back down towards zero as the rain and the snow <clears throat> eventually started, so... Um, so that was how we progressed. We uh, we had a little bit of wind in the valley um, through the day yesterday, bringing in that cold air um, when it started to snow uh, and and eventually rain. Um, we uh, we saw that uh, wind die off. And now this morning we have a little bit of wind uh, coming back in. So I would expect that the wind will uh, will turn to the south in Port Alberni very soon, um, and uh, and when it does, the temperature is going to pop up. So here's the uh, the hourly rain totals. Uh, we can see around eleven o'clock last night is when uh, when things really warmed just enough for the rain to turn or for the snow to turn to rain and for things to start to melt. So uh, so we've had you know a good five millimeters per hour in the past few hours since uh, the early morning. So, uh, so a good amount of rain there uh, since the midnight last night. Um, looking at the webcams, um, it, you might have noticed I switched the main webcam here on the page to uh, YouTube just because the other one was buffering a little bit. So, uh, so YouTube has been a little more reliable that way. So we can see YouTube. Uh, and our uh, our live weather camera, we can see the snow is melting quickly. Um, has already melted um, on the uh, the bottom of the uh, uh, roof there, or at the top of the roof. I mean, and uh, and all along the railing, um, and certainly the uh, the roads and stuff have pretty much cleared. Um, but there's lots of snow. Uh, left in various places until it really warms up. It's not going to to go away uh, until we get up around five degrees or so, which I expect it will later on today. Um, if we look at the uh, the highway webcams, pretty much everything is clear um, on the main highways. Uh, Taylor River, Sutton Pass, you're going to expect still some slush, certainly this morning, um, before it starts to uh, to uh, warm up. Uh, Euclidlet, it's already nine degrees out there, so um, so it's raining and there's no snow. Uh, Kennedy Lake as well is probably already up above five degrees. Um, and uh, if we look at the snowpack out on Mar Mount Arrow Smith, um, that actually looks not too bad. Uh, let's see here, get to a larger version. There it is. So um, it's a little obscured because of the rain, 
but um, but you can see there is snow that accumulated um, on the uh, the snowpack cam there. So that's encouraging. Um, but it, it won't be very much. You can see that it's not really even in the trees, so it's probably raining there, um, just given the, the, the picture. But, uh, but there is at least a little bit of snow that came down, so that's, that's good. Um, we look at air quality. Um, air quality is good pretty much everywhere in, uh, in the Alberta Valley. Um, some poor air up in Cherry Creek and uh, in central Port Alberni, probably just localized smoke from, from people burning wood fires uh, in, their, uh, in their homes. Um, but uh, but for the most part, the um, air quality is looking pretty good. You can look at the satellite picture. You can see that we're getting the main force of the uh, of the rain right now um, and precipitation. Um, you can see the back of the uh, of the system is just starting to uh, to get onto the tip of Vancouver Island. That is going to move its way down uh, if I zoom this in a little bit. We go so this front is going to or the back of the system is going to move down Vancouver Island pretty much in line with the island um, gradually today um, and uh, and then it will leave in its wake this uh, sort of disorganized patchy uh, weather where we're going to see potentially cold air come back in and uh, and the potential for more snow. So uh, so let's go look at the radar just to get a look at what's happening uh, immediately right now. There we go. So lots on the radar. It can be a little hard to, uh, to figure out what's going on here, but uh, there's the North Island, which the radar doesn't get. It only gets up to about Campbell River, Courtney. Um, so you can see there's heavy rain here. Uh, around Port Alberni, uh, around Balkan Beach, uh, Parksville, the Noose Bay. Um, there's some strong rain, a bit of a shadow maybe in Nanaimo, um, but uh, but strong rain down in Ladysmith and down in uh, in Lake Cowichan area. So, um, and then there's a there's a quite a shadow here. Uh, in uh, in Juan de Fuca Strait and Victoria, so that's from the Olympic Mountains, um, shadowing those areas. So uh, so strong rain in many parts of the South Island. Um, there's going to be snow in the Campbell River area, um, most likely. If we go back to the uh, the webcams, I'm just going to go on to the Highway 19. And we can take a look at the rest of the island here just to see what's going on. Um, there's Campbell River. So it looks like it's uh, it's just raining right now, but there's plenty of snow, plenty of slush uh, happening there. Okay, so that's the current picture. Um, and uh, and we're uh, we're waiting for that warm up to happen. So let's look maybe uh, if we can. Um, let's get an idea of what is happening on island weather. Yeah, that I mean, it's it's a shame there aren't more stations on island weather still active, but uh, but you can see the South Island here is around seven degrees. Um, the North Island is still at zero. So um, uh, you know, there's there's uh, there's going to be a bit of a shift there. Um, over time. Uh, okay, so let's look at the uh, the forecast coming up. Um, we have the forecast going out to the next 84 hours. So that's good. Uh, that's going to cover uh, going out to the weekend. So precipitation first. We zoom in a little bit. We can see um, starting this morning, um, now, this is just precipitation, doesn't differentiate between snow or rain, um, but we can see heavy, heavy precipitation coming through um, the 10 o'clock uh, a.m. hour. Uh, and then this is the picture going out to 1 p.m. just afternoon. Um, 
so the early afternoon expects that uh, back of that system to come down the island uh, and start to clear out a little bit. Uh, this heavy rain is continuing in the South Island and uh, starting to taper off a little bit in uh, in Port Alberni. Um, but that's uh, that heavy rain is going to continue on the South Island until the, the front moves through uh, or the back of the system moves through. So you can see 1 to 4 p.m. So getting into the afternoon, um, it's moving down further down the island. Uh, it's clearing out in Campbell River and Courtney um, by uh, by four o'clock for sure. Um, and uh, it, but it's still raining down here in Lake Cowichan, Duncan, Shawnigan Lake. Um, it's not until uh, 10 o'clock or so uh, that it starts to really uh, lighten up down on the South Island. So um, you can see it's moved off by uh, by 10 o'clock tonight. Um, it has moved off the island for the most part. Um, and now we're left with these patchy um, areas of precipitation. This could be snow or rain. Um, you can see there's a bit of a band here that develops over Port Alberni, maybe over Parksville, um, stretching onto the South uh, Sunshine Coast. Um, so it's it's an interesting outlook from sort of tonight. Uh, and into Thursday, there are these patches, um, quite random, really. It's hard to hard to predict where this is going to turn into, you know, maybe uh, a downpour for an hour or two. Um, but you can see this is through Thursday night. Um, so if I back up here, this is Thursday morning. You can see it's it's just patchy throughout the island. Um, difficult to say where these are going to pop up. Um, in the afternoon on Thursday, it looks like it's pretty much uh, there could be rain across most of the island. Um, you know, there's stronger areas here, um, you know, yeah, ar around uh, Courtney, Campbell River, maybe, um, maybe a little bit in Port Alberni. Um, then into the evening on Thursday, it's still very patchy um, off and on um, throughout uh, and then Friday morning, uh, we get another bunch of precipitation here, and this could fall as snow. So that's uh, that's going to be pretty interesting to see. So let's back up and go to look at the snow and rain mix. Um, so this is now looking at um, the same time period. Uh, and get Vancouver Island. So starting this morning the gray and black areas are all in rain um, the color uh, the colored areas green blues purples that's snow so you can see the mix here so so it's expecting this morning for the vast majority of the low-lying areas and everywhere south of the strathcona park area um, is going to be rain um, that continues as that system moves down the island um, and then in the back of it it gets a little more interesting so we can see there's there's areas of gray here this is snow mostly at the lower elevations uh, or sorry this is rain mostly at the lower elevations and then uh, and then snow at higher elevations um, but you can see as it moves across there's a bit of patch of snow here at the very end tonight Wednesday in Lake Cowichan, they could see some snow accumulate um, as that front moves off um, and the cold air comes in behind. Um, and then overnight tonight, there are still patches. So even around Port Alberni, there's a band of snow here that develops. There's a band of snow that develops down on the South Island. Um, here's in the morning on Thursday, a patch of snow uh, develops around Courtney, uh, another one around Port Alberni, um, and again continuing a little bit in Port Alberni potentially in the morning on Thursday, um, and then lightening up. This turns to rain in Port Alberni, um, and a little bit of snow in Lake Cowichan, maybe a little bit of snow in 
the Sutton Pass area going out to the west coast. Um, so this gets pretty complicated going through the next couple days. Um, it could be a real mix of snow and rain, um, you know, at any time. Uh, it's really hard to predict really where this is going to end up. These are three hour periods, so it can kind of be any time in, in that three hour. Um, could see uh, rain or snow. Um, so again, Thursday afternoon, a little bit more widespread, it looks like, um, snow across the southern island from Campbell River, Courtney, um, down to Port Alberni, potentially um, maybe a bit of a shadow, nothing much in Nanaimo, um, but looking down at Lake Cowichan and North Cowichan, could see snow um, and then lightening up Thursday night. Um, but, uh, but again, you know, these patches of snow um, and mixed in with rain sort of in between. So, um, so a pretty strange setup or at least kind of unpredictable setup for the next couple of days. If we look into Friday, um, so early Friday morning, uh, there is a potential for snow, a, a good chunk of it, it looks like, um, on the west coast uh, in Port Alberni, uh, in Lake Cowichan, up in Portney, um, and then it uh, and then it moves sort of up the island towards Campbell River, um, still in Courtney or sorry, still in uh, Port Alberni, um, and uh, and Courtney early Friday morning, and then moving away uh, later on Friday morning, um, still some potential for snow. Um, but then turning to rain in the afternoon. So it's a real mixed bag. Um, you know, this could fall as rain or snow at any time uh, between Thursday and Friday. Um, you know, both those days are going to be going to be pretty weird. Um, this picture here, uh, uh, this is Friday night, 7 to 10 p.m. Um, that looks like heavy snow in areas along the east coast of the island. So Parksville. Qualicum, Courtney, Nanaimo, Duncan, uh, Shawnigan Lake, uh, all experiencing snow potentially uh, on Friday night. Um, so a real a real mixed bag. Um, look, there's this sort of strong area of snow um, up by Courtney, but it's raining in Port Alberni. It's raining and went uh, on the West Coast. There's there's just a lot going on here, so you might want to look through this um, th through this video and uh, just step through um, as I'm doing here uh, and look through what the times are. It's pretty pretty complicated, pretty hit and miss. What I think the takeaway is is you can expect snow or rain pretty much any time uh, Thursday, Friday, and including into Saturday. Um, it looks maybe by Sunday, uh, this unfortunately doesn't go out to Sunday, but I'm thinking by Sunday, we should see a little bit of a break from all of this. Um, and, uh, and it, it'll just be cloudy or maybe some sunny periods on Sunday. Um, uh, let's just back up and see if we can get a look maybe from one of the past runs here, maybe from last night's run. Uh, let's look at that one just so we can get a feeling for what Wednesday might look like. I'm going to go back to the precipitation. Um, so oh, that's still four o'clock Saturday. Yeah, that's too bad. So if I can find one that goes out that far. No, it won't be. So we'll just go by spot X maybe. So let's look at spot X. So again, Saturday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, expect snow or rain pretty much at any time um, for that uh, period. So let's look at the longer range forecast. Um, I'm going to look at the 16-day uh, forecast here from the GEPS. Um, and we can see here that continuing after Wednesday, we get up to six degrees here to sometime today when the, the southerly winds come in. 
uh, we'll get up to six degrees. It should melt away most of the snow, um, but then uh, but then we get cold. So that's when uh, that's when that potential for snow or rain can happen. Um, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday we do get up to four degrees, um, and there's a bit of a trend upward um, after that towards five, six, six. Uh, on Friday next week. So next week looks uh, a little bit warmer, so less likely to have snow. Uh, we'll look down at the precipitation here. Uh, we can see that bump, uh, the rain on uh, today, Wednesday, and then uh, and then no rain after that. But this uh, uh, this one down here, there's the snow. So <laughs> it's still very bullish on snowfall, but, uh, but this, um, you know, that has not turned out. I didn't think it would. Um, uh, we got maybe two, three centimeters last yesterday, last night. Um, that's all gone now. Um, it's expecting 30 centimeters by Friday still. Um, I don't think that's going to happen, but, uh, but there certainly is the potential of snowfall, um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and that that definitely comes through on this model as well. Um, after that, um, it looks like you know they, it still sees a little bit of um, chance of snow uh, through next week, but uh, but nothing like we're seeing uh, in the next couple of days. So that's good. Um, it does look like there'll be some rain uh, next week. Looks like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, Saturday. So expect a rainy week next week, a little warmer. So it should hopefully not fall as uh, snow on the low-lying areas. Um, okay, so that's the long range. And if we look uh, look out towards, um, you know, March 14th, um, it has a it has a fair amount of rain there. So uh, up to um, 200 millimeters. Uh, so that would be good. That would be a pretty normal amount of rain for March. Um, so let's look, see if there's any flood warnings or advisories with the melt. You never know. Uh, we could see some. Uh, yeah, there's nothing there, so that's good. Um, and we won't see any new numbers for the snowpack uh, until Friday. So I'll uh, I'll update you then on uh, on the snowpack and stuff. But uh, but I think that'll do it for now for this uh, blog. Thank you very much for listening, for tuning in, uh, albertiweather.ca. Uh, is the website. Please do like and subscribe to this video um, and uh, and share it around if you'd like. Um, and we can uh, we can do this again probably on Friday, uh, March first. Uh, have a great uh, leap day tomorrow, um, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.